Welcome to Bumblecast Gaming. I'm your host, Ian Flynn, the Bumble King, and joining me is Aaliyah Baker, and together we're going to be playing some new Pokemon Snap. Not your old Snap, your new Snap. You working? Why is this system so slow? We are working. I just need to not be screaming into the microphone. So, then we're good. Alright. This is on my account, right? Yeah, it's on your account. Okay, it just seems kind of slow for a second. Okay, we ready to go? You just need to speak a little louder. Louder? Louder. Louder? Louder like chowder. Pika Pika, who wants to hear a funny ass joke? <laughs> Uh, had Joshua Inkfox, Nintendo, Sin, Rain Fox. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Hello, everyone. Okay, so I do have some new areas to explore. I have been spoiled on a few things, unfortunately, but it's it's still new-ish, kind of. Yeah, I mean. You said, I want to hold off and actually share it with the stream. And I said, that's nice, and just consumed. So, this is something I've been interested in for a while. Pretty much spoiled by Ian, yes. Though, um, I have to say, um, we've still had very different experiences on the same levels, which has been kind of cool. Like, we've each seen things the other has not experienced at all on the same levels, like on the earlier levels, you know, kind of looked at each other's pictures and says, where, you know, where was that? How did you get that? When did that happen? There's a horrible dead thing. Everything's very foggy. Since this is just the first run through, don't expect everything to come out perfectly. So. If you were on the fence about this one because you know, you have fond memories of the original and it, can they really improve upon the original formula? Yes. Yes, they absolutely can. This has got just about everything I wanted in a sequel to Pokemon Snap. It's positively delightful and just been eating it up. So if you're on the fence, get off the fence. Grab it. Do it. Play it. Engages in casual animal abuse. Some of the in-game puzzles are a little obtuse, I would say, but once you figure out what they want from you, you look back and go, oh, yeah, of course that makes total sense. And how did Professor Rye... Like, this stage in particular, we were stuck on a particular puzzle and uh, eventually figured it out. Turn around, you adorable little munchkin. In terms of local flora, fauna, I guess some of them count as both, like that one right there. Uh, there's over 100 critters in here. I think the original game only had about 60-something, didn't it? Mm, I think so, yeah. Ah, oh, the youth of today. <laughs> I'd say there's a nice mix of various generations. Um... Like this thing, I've never seen it before. Yeah, a Bulba Seor? Seor? And there's something that get included, I'm like, oh, that's actually getting acknowledged and remembered. How neat. It isn't just, here's the same Gen 1 pandering over and over again. There's Gen 1 pandering, but come on now. We Gen 1ers <laughs> drop half the sales, I'm sure. Yes, it is. Unless someone were to disrupt that, no? Okay. Steal its eggs, eat its young. Pokemon! <laughs> now that's for the other stages. The uh, casual Magikarp abuse. It's so true. A Pokemon you can chew. <laughs> I chew you. Will you eat me before I eat you, Pokemon? Gotta cook them all. Oh, 
I mean, that, uh, was it Frillish, I think? Mm -hmm. Is the, just like, casually, happily dragging things to their depth underwater was kind of... Unsettling. <sighs> it was a thing. No, well, to be fair, Professor Ride, the original game only had Gen 1 to pull from. Am I right? Yeah, because it came out in, like, 99, I think. 99 or 2000. It's old. Something like that. Eat the apple. Nope. It does not eat with its butt. That's a different Pokemon. <sighs> Which one? I don't know. Don't Mawile. No, that's its head. Clearly. You know, I thought you were being legit. <laughs> it can well... Can Garaferig eat with its butt? Does that thing on its uh, back end open its face? It does. Oh, hey. It's our buddy. Should probably get a picture of its face and not its butt. Since we keep speaking of butts. I don't like you anyway. Uh, they're not there yet. Hmm. What are we talking about? <gasps> you'll just have to play to find out. Or, you know, you'll level up the stage and we'll see it anyway. Cool, nothing happened. Pidget Tamer, yes. Yes, we are. With fruit that is hilariously emphatically described as being soft and non-painful to pelt animals with. It's and, merely annoying. And basically concentrated chi. Oh, this is, uh... Because, yeah, in the first game, though, like, when you think about it, actually hurling an apple at something's head... It's a little much. Never mind your dedicated gas grenade. Mm -hmm. I think that was a Magikarp. I already have all the best Magikarp pictures. For a second, I thought that was a womp of it. And I got all excited. How dare you get excited? While I'm looking at all the virtual animals, there's a real one trying to climb into my lap. Midna Boo Boo, come Midna here. Scram, please. Come here, kitty. The stream cannot see you. You cannot get its attention. Come here, dummy. Hello. <laughs> Come here, you problematic creature. There you go. Now sit and be calm. Yes, Ink Pants, that is pretty much the entirety of the game. What is? Hey, cute animal, look at me. Clock. The other thing is that I, I kind of want to, like, evaluate these based on, you know, actual artistic merit, and sometimes how it wants to judge things just makes absolutely no sense at all. I've had quite a few times where it's like, there, there's no Pokemon visible in the picture. And it's like, sure, this is totally, I don't know, Wingle or something, and not just a chunk of rock with a fish in the foreground. Pure white out conditions. That's a 10 out of 10 picture you got right there. Of what? Of what? I took the picture. I don't even know what it was. That's not even an exaggeration. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, no, Zoe. It, it, Joe, excuse me. It absolutely does not. Like, I'm not I'm not nearly the photographer, Aaliyah. She actually can take pictures with people composition have, and stuff. People have actually paid me for it. It's I know. Ridiculous. It's crazy. And, you know, Aww, look at this little I girl. try to emulate that, and I'll get something that's like, alright, this is pretty respectable. And then I'll take one that's like the upper molars of a whalemer, and it's like, yeah, that's great! It's like, no, it's not! Even I know it's not! Fine, give me my points. Unlock more stuff. See more things. I mean, this is, again, just the first pass, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, but, um, chew that butt. in terms of progression, if you haven't played or haven't followed at all, you start off in a daytime... <laughs> Rule of third means nothing. Yeah, really. <laughs> you start off in a daytime version of the stage. You get a general pass at stuff. You know, take your pictures, get a general feel for the layout. And then as you accrue more points by taking better pictures... No, no, no. The Pokemon are getting used to you. <laughs> yes, that's exactly it. That's what they which, tell you. Which you quantify with all the points that you accrue by taking pictures. You're taking out my, my immersion. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the static little man is talking to you with a word balloon. So Shut immersive. up! He's my professor. I think. I paid good money for this course. <laughs> Point is, as you level up the stages, you get more options. Alternate paths, new critters show up. And even after that, the more you do a course, the more a uh, creatures may show up. More interactions show up. You get nighttime versions of some stages. And then even beyond that, uh, I've completed the main campaign, and more stuff is now appearing in stages. So, it there is a ton of content in this, and that's just me going through taking pictures, trying to get you know good scores. That's not trying to get specific pictures that the cast asks you for. That's not figuring out the in-game puzzles to make stuff happen. There, there's a ridiculous amount of content to this and some of the stages may feel a little short but that also means you get to redo them over and over again because dead gummit you missed that squirtle <laughs> i'm going to get that squirtle i'm going to go back and it's a perfect frame and no you can't stop me what do you mean the sun is coming up i don't care gotta photograph them all see look at this totally respectable professor with a sweater tied around his waist and something coming out of his pocket. And... Goggles for no particular reason? Science! That trubbish keeps sneaking around. Yeah, alright, I'll grant you that one. Welcome, oh, Gracie. that gets a level two already. Yeah. Okay. See, <laughs> you know what you're doing. Ooh, pretty. Might change my icon to that later. Hmm. Oh, and once you've taken your pictures, you can go in and edit them to a ridiculous degree with various stickers and effects and just stuff. Color balance, filters, posted online. It's it's a it's a robust game. It's it's not just a slapdash sequel. This is a this is the better game. <laughs> Straight up. Well. Not talking smack about the old one. I really enjoyed it, but I remember getting it on the. Oh, Wii. what do you want, you nerd? On the Wii. Or was it on the Wii U? The original. Well, not the N sixty four version. Clearly, I mean the. It's about to. The, the it's virtual it's console version. And I beat that like. Here's the thing. A lunch. Wow. You mind? Do your own work. Let me just see for a second. Uh, ba -da -ba, where are things? Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, Dino. I dislike that thing. It's worth points. Yeah. I was trying to think of. This is the one you liked. I mean, look at that. You're not walking here with me. I'm walking here with you. Isn't that yeah, the that... wrong way around? Shut up! The speech wasn't very super effective. Mm-hmm. That's one way of putting it. Mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of votes on some of these, but, you know. The one the professor liked was a popular one. Mm. Which I didn't have any say of getting uploaded, but whatever. Whatever. I guess all the good ones are in the actual big album. And that's a lot to dig through, so. Eh. All right. But it's nice that you get to dig through all of them like that. Okay, so Here. should we do this now? Um, or... up to you. Now you can go. All right. Each region has, 
I guess technically it's kind of a boss fight. I mean, really, when you get down <laughs> boss to boss encounter, this is a score attack rail shooter. When you get down to it, you got to shoot them all. Looks like it's right under you. It's coming from inside the car. Gracie, I would be disappointed if you didn't. Go for it. Okay, so how did people pronounce this thing's name? Because I disagree, <laughs> is the thing. Boss fight in that you have a specific subject to photograph, and you have to make them all glowy and pretty to do so, and you have a finite amount of time to do it. And different critters require different attention. Melodic here... That is how it's pronounced. I will fight you otherwise. I will fight you otherwise. Will not surface unless you manage to bop it with an apple. Or fluff fruit. That's <laughs> also I hate pronounce it, yes? Yeah. I refuse to call it Milotic. No, Milotech. Milotech. No, no, no. Oh, it did. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe you should have it charged up and up. Or this is just level one. So yeah, possibly. Too. Again, level one, you know. There's fairly probably not as much stuff around, too. Yeah, just straightforward, go after the target Pokemon. Level two, they start introducing more stuff. What was that under the water? Uh, is this remember where those ruins are? Maybe. Because I know things got a lot more interesting then. <laughs> oh! Yeah, it's alright, it's just... I thought it was a bit of a pain to get. What with the what, Poke Cubes? He had to feed it back in the day. I don't even know how you get it now. Um. Be its friend? Is it based on friendship? I don't know. I like it, though. I mean, I enjoy Pokemon. I followed it a fair bit, but. There comes a time when you gotta kinda realize your age out of it a little bit. And there's a thousand of the freaking critters. I can't keep track of it all now. And they keep adding and dropping game mechanics. All you need is an Espeon with Psychic. And you start melting some brains. Yes, yes. I always... I, I re swear to God, the Espeon she had, I forget which generation, had perfect IVs for its special attack. I think a Nuka Dark type with Psychic. I know that's not physically possible, but I swear to God she did it. Six Claude, you bring up a very good point. However, I'm right, so that's just the way it's going to be. <sighs> the ego is showing. You're distracting me. I'm engaging with our viewers. Mm -hmm. Seriously, okay, this. Whoops. What? Okay, goodbye. Fine then. Lovely personal photographer teleports behind you. <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing around like there. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, I don't know how well it's coming through on the stream, but this music is pretty much like half the melody is like uh, what, Lava Reef Act 2 yeah. in like major key, basically. <laughs> yeah, there's like nothing else around right now, yep. but I guess later there will be. Uh, I would say don't worry about that core, but um, there, there are things you can run into. It doesn't really do anything, just kind of stops you for a minute. But Well, it's a great way. It's strategic, you know? Sure. Block your path, crash into something. Stop yourself from moving. Get better pictures. If they decide to go DLC with this, which, you know, yes, 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 allow me to consume... For the love of Arceus, give me a break. Like a hand break. Pedal break. Whatever. I want to be able to stop and observe. I know that isn't part of the game design, but... Ugh, it drives me crazy. See, I was trying to remember. Did you have a method of slowing down in the first game, or am I just... I ugh, don't think so. These are terrible. I'm pretty sure in the original, the best you could do is run into something like that. I think it was the Moltres egg in the fire region. 
Mm. Well, that was like in the... Ugh, these are all... Well, this is disappointing. They're fine. You're just going for the points. If you guys were here for the Subnautica stream, <laughs> guess what? There seems to be a stage specifically designed for me and my phobia. All right. Thankfully, there aren't any real, you know, horrors of the deep, but it's still unsettling. Huh. Greetings, Professor. Something to report. There's at least one spider Pokemon in this, if that's what you're asking. Yeah. Does that say you we want you to avoid the spiders? Yep. <laughs> he really does look like a Goron. <laughs> Mighty Pokemon Professor Darunia. <laughs> I'm gonna teach roll out to everything. <laughs> that brave Yuri, he's gonna roll down a hill like a rock. Oh, okay. He's pictures of spider, man. Uh, Walked right into that one. Yeah, you nerd. If you roll out. This isn't your game. There you go. How about you walk in a slightly different direction? <laughs> We're not going to allow you to easily toggle it, but we'll give you the option. Parker designed by Nintendo. I was honestly like amazed that they brought him back. That was honestly kind of fun. Oh yeah. Look at this. Time to get shifty with it. Yeah. Get swifty. Start singing Ian. No. Trees like apples. <laughs> Wasn't this scene in The Wizard of Oz? <laughs> Poppies will make them evolve. So Sega had nothing to do with Tommy Turtle. That's all me. I'll claim that one. <laughs> you can't take that one away from me. You gave him quite the pester ball. <laughs> All 400 megatons of it. Oh, okay, fine then. What do I care? Ooh, pretty! What's going on with this forest? It's definitely fall here, isn't it? Not at all. I don't like that frame. It's my buddy! Yeah, I remember that thing. It was my starter. I named it Echinacea. 
Echinacea, new toxic. Mega drain. Leech seed. Oh, did I have leech? Oh, uh, maybe at the same time. And then it was like. And leaf blade. Leaf blade. <laughs> so if you could endure long enough to maybe take a swipe at it, it would just go <laughs> and murder you. It was just to be. I know it wasn't practical moveset. It was. It was just to be a troll. Who did I have in that generation? Did I have Embor? Yeah. Ganon pork. Ganon pork. Ham that fries itself. What was the other one that generation? I sure. Was it? Yeah. Was it? I guess it was. So I think when I finally got one, I named it Oshawa, because of course. Of course. Where are you, dumb baby? Or is that first the flower? No, you can't do it. Well, well the no. baby's still there. Yeah, which I guess is like early training, but... Where is that one? Don't put... No, no, because... Level three, it runs off to the edges, so. No, fine. I don't care what you think. You also have, like, some absolutely horrible tank of an Umbreon, if I remember correctly. <laughs> like, it also had Toxic, and I think... Everything I have has Toxic. And Wish, I think. So by the time you whittled the damn thing down, it was just like, <laughs> Oops, I got healed. How's that cardiac arrest? Uh, so I say my one Pokemon was there to be a troll, but honestly, most of them were. Oh, except for that Empoleon I had. No. That was just mean. That was like, what, earthquake and ice beam and... Was it like steel wing or something? Oh. See, when they say they're, like, you know, lighter and all this stuff, it makes me think of, like, those, like, fake fruit made of styrofoam. Mm-hmm. From, like, craft stores. That's more palatable than what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of, like, one of those apples that's managed to just turn into apple juice under the peel. And you don't know until you Ew. take a big bite and it's just mush. Sandy, nasty, over-sugared mush. And you feel betrayed and you can never look at an apple again without some level of terror. Like this? Yes. Cool. I hate that thing. Stupid freaking one. It's smiling. Yes. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah. Well, they absolutely do, young pants. And in some cases, it is the trash that people throw away. Whoops. I mean, yes. Oh! What'd it do? I look at the chat for two seconds. <laughs> I think it snatched up the apple with its tongue. Ah. Oh. Mm, ah. Yeah. Get out of here, you. Trubbish and uh, muck to some degree. Like, I think a low and muck is specifically said to be its rainbow colors because it's covered in oil slick from the roads. Come here. Come here. Come here, you stupid thing. I don't want to be your friend anyway. Best Pokemon type. Psychic. Dark. Psychic dark. Immune to itself. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to pick. Yeah, well, Bubble Store can pay for that camera. I mean, I'm almost inclined to say steel since it protects you from toxic. 
Does it? Does it really? <laughs> burb. Burb. Your favorite Pokemon? Farfetched. <laughs> Either version. That answer's not farfetched at all. No. You consider this an online leak? <sighs> Donnie, don't, don't say that. Come on, man. Uh, runner up, Tyrantrum. Because, come on. It's a freaking T Rex, man. Really? That dinosaur of all of them? Hmm. Yeah. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. It's a big feathery stop on Look your face, eat you in one bite, dino. Look how sad it is. Yeah, because it's a Kecleon. <laughs> I'm sad because I'm Charlie Brown. <laughs> Who's that Pokemon? Womp, 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 womp. <laughs> In terms of your favorite, I believe all the Eevees counts as one. Yes, I'm very basic like that, okay? Hey, I love the Eevees as well. Most of them. Scizor's pretty cool. I like Mimikyu. Mimikyu's fun. I haven't seen Mimikyu in this. Is Mimikyu not in this? I am not sure. I don't think so. Oh, okay. Stream's over. Screw this. Vulpix is um, definitely an excellent choice, Hank Pan. Okay, yes, Vulpix is good. Vulpix is in this. We can still play. Uh, shoot, Core. Uh, favorite game set. I am gonna say Diamond Pearl Platinum. Those I remember the most fondly. I actually liked Sun and Moon a lot. Yeah, Sun and Moon was fun. I mean, also, I'm an old fart who has memory issues, I guess, so it's the most fresh in my memory. But I really enjoyed its uh, setting. Yeah, okay, Sylveon's flesh ribbons really... I don't know. I don't know why that's a thing. I also don't like that it's kind of bigger than all the other With the different evolution. body shape, different eye shape, different head shape. Okay, yeah, but like Espeon and Umbreon are also kind of different. Like Lucian and Leafeon bit... fit the others better. Yeah, but they're also more abstract. You know, Leafy Puppy Baby. That's easy enough. Fiery Puppy Baby. Sure. Psychic Puppy Baby. What is psychic? One more time. Uh, Core, I'm all about the collecting, really. The gameplay itself is largely secondary to me. I like the cool looking critters, and I like to say, ooh, I have that one now. Good luck. The completionist? Yeah. Like, I tried doing a little bit of competitive breeding one generation and just got burned out by it. That might have been X and Y when you could actually farm your EVs with those mini events, but it's like, eh, the, the grind's not so much fun. I just like my cool looking critter. I like the battle aspect more. Hmm. Kind of too bad the triple battles didn't take off. Either mm. version. Well, fine, be that way. He's not my friend yet. Oh, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, we're here again. Favorite mythical. Um... 
I'm not saying partial to Dialga. I feel like... A, I don't know you at all. I feel like I shouldn't because it's kind of over-designed, but I also think it looks kind of badass. Zero use for Palkia, though. So many burbs. There's so many legendaries at this point, it's kind of hard to keep track yeah, of Yeah, what's a legendary at this point? Yeah. Hmm, oh, is there something in the leaves? I mean, I'll go full Gen 1 or here and say Mewtwo's cool. Well, yeah. Overexposed, absolutely, but... Well, yeah, he doesn't wear anything. <sighs> I thought it might eat me out. Oh, Lugia. Really like Lugia. Very cool, sleek dragon sea monster bird with hand wing things. See, there's a dummy. Yeah, Ink Pants, pretty much. Oh, Joe, I haven't watched that in so long. What, the actual show or something? Yeah. Like, we watched a little bit of the Alowin series, but, um, that was cute. It's because it had Mimikyu. And a goofy surfer Eevee who just kind of... Oh, that's why! Yeah, that thing! Blenders in and out of problems. Who is whining at me? I think it's the two espers behind you. Well... I feel like I'm... Talk with their mind. I feel like I'm forgetting... A mythical that I usually get hyped for, but again, there's so many of the bloody things I can't keep track of it. Whoa! <laughs> what a cute little freak. Oh, Deluna, welcome. There's a lot more birds now. Cool. Oh, it is a worm. I, mean, I think it's technically a dragon type, but... Come on, eat the apple. You know you want to. Oh, does it want to? I Okay, cannibalism's cool, I guess. What do I know? Do you run if I do this too? No, you just look a little surprised. Okay. Oh, there you go, Core. Yvital or Vivital? How you pronounce it? That and Xerneas. Those are pretty cool. I like those. I do not like the way he says that. <laughs> I swear, he sounds like he's about to pull the plug on me. All right, it's time to drive into the light. No, Professor! You've had a good run. I still have 25 shots left. Sometimes it's just the end. At least you'll have the memories, right? I can still take pictures! Oh, God, even the bubble store's not impressed. <laughs> no! You can't face it.
was it? I remember I skipped on Gen 3 for the longest time because I just didn't like a lot of the critter designs. And then I ended up going through Emerald at some point and just really liked the way that they stitched the Ooh, Ruby Sapphire gee. Game I don't know stories together. Which one? Well, shrift through them until you find the one you like. I'll be quiet. <laughs> this one looks so indignant. It's like some old man peering over the hedges. I'm going, who's playing music at this hour? Sir, it's, it's six in the afternoon. Ah! If you're with the church or the government, get off my property, which is effectively the forest. This is a nice up close shot of it looking derpy, but that's three of them, so we'll go with that. Uh, so, ooh, that's kind of cool, but they're all... What does the game think is cool? The game doesn't know crap. Well, I will use my bias and be wrong. Because it's all stupid algorithms. It doesn't really matter. There's unimpressed Bulbasaur. That's what I was going for, Six Claude. Reasonable facsimile? Hey, there's its face, finally. Lord Slug. Ooh, okay, sure. That one's slightly better, apparently. That one is not. That's what you get for being a cranky old man. Nice work, he says, casually throwing all my photos into the garbage. out photos nowadays anyway. <laughs> yeah, Esper is kind of mm -hmm. untrustworthy looking. <laughs> I mean, in this they're kind of cute, but in that kind of kitten you found on the side of the road sort of way. I've rescued a lot of kittens that way. I know, and they get cleaned up, and they get brushed, and they get fed, and they look kind of cats again. Esper's are the step before right. that. Oh, I can do this now. Yep. They, they look like you need a shot after you bring them in. It's just saying. Oh, hey, they're, speaking of uh, things you don't trust. Yeah. Uh, Get out from behind there, you loser. Core, the Team Four Star abridged parody version of the Dragon Ball Z movie. Long, Get punished! Long-winded explanation for... Inside reference joke that they did better, and that I'm totally just co oping for the stream. I don't like this bunny. Oh, there's a rat! Rat, rat, there's a rat. Eat the apple, rat. Nope. Step on the rat. Goodbye, rat. Kakuna Ratata. Does it? Oh gosh! Does it? Yeah, it eats. That's the stuff. Goodness, that is certainly a thing. I really like this little campsite. Also, I haven't been outside and gone anywhere in a long damn time, so even fictional locations look amazing to me. The Dede days asleep on the other pod. Has it got its tail wrapped around it? I believe so. Let's be cruel to it. <laughs> it's out for 
blood. You rang at it. Get over here, you dumb rat. <laughs> oh my god, it's the size of the owl. Ah! Oh, look, it wraps its tail around. It's so far away, this is terrible. There's the other rat. I already have good pictures of the rat. No, oh, I want this one. Ugh. I don't want you anyway. Joe, I can't really say since I never really played Rangers or Mystery Dungeon, but Boop. the the animations for these things in the wild is just exquisite. <laughs> Case in point, I suppose. I mean, the more outlandish stuff looks like a cartoon critter. That's but to a point, it. a lot of them become more endearing because they're moving like animals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of things where it's like, oh, suddenly I don't hate this as much. Like, there's a stage that has Alterias in it. Al Alteria? Al Alteria, yeah. I, I hate the design. I think it's a stupid looking Pokemon. But in this, it looks like an actual animal. And it's like, oh, I don't find you quite as repulsive anymore. It's... And just seeing some of them in the natural habitat. Oh! Hey! Come on. I had an itch on my arm. I took my, <laughs> I took my hand off the controller. It, it's just really neat. Then the fact, and aside from Pikachu, they actually make animal noises instead of screaming their name. And that goes a long way to making you feel like you're on an actual safari with giant magical anime monsters. I mean, on the other hand, what animal is this? Nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, these are terrible. Oh, well. Oh, wow. This <laughs> Look at this stupid thing. It's like it's going streaking. I can't believe I sent it flying off there. That was hilarious. Uh, Pidget Tamer, I think there's got to be over 120 in this one. I don't, oh, I, yeah, I think I've already taken... I don't have a solid number, but uh, Joe says 215. Really? Cool. This is a bad distance, but it's kind of cute. Uh, I have so many Pikachu shots already... Pikachu set. Oh, that's terrible. I... See, look, I don't like this thing, but I like that shot. See, I like it well enough. Mm, it looks like, like a rabbit. It looks like an absolutely generic <sighs> knockoff Easter toy. I feel like it has a, it straddles that line of looking like an animal and looking like an anime beastie. For the evolution, your mileage will vary from person to person. I find it hilarious. I understand it's not everyone's cup of mud. I would have liked it if Mudsdale was in this. It's yep. also kind of bit. Ooh, that's kind of close. Oh, well. I only chose that one because it was a three star and I didn't have a three star. Yeah. Well, that's a small thing. Or, I don't know. I got distracted. Where shall we fly to next? Well, I haven't done the encounter in the volcano yet. 
And I think that is holding back mm. some... Progression? Yeah, since I apparently already maxed out the volcano and I haven't seen everything there yet. Yeah. So, uh... This one I am not very familiar with, aside from having the idea that it's kind of going to be a bit of an oh god thing. Yeah, I'm I'm bad at aiming in video games anyway, and this I feel like it's not conducive. Ooh, fire! Hmm. It couldn't possibly be in all that lava, could it? No, there's no poke. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Ooh, I remember I had one of these. that was pretty cool. Uh, Corey, yes, there are two ocean. Well, technically three, but one's more of a beach. Oh, yeah, right. there's the deep ocean. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's a lot of ocean stage stuff. I can go check that out later. If the chat would like, you can go see all the horrible things deep underwater. Go chase the giant things on fire. Take the picture of the ruins behind you. Ruins behind me. Ruins behind you. Thank you for the prompt. Welcome. So, what, bop them and then? Yeah, just pelt them with apples until their shield goes down, and then pelt them with light show until they are glowing psychedelic, and then you rave. I wish I had that speedy yep engine thing. Look at this thing mocking me. But everything smells like baked apples <laughs> and sulfur. New at Bath and Body Works. Flaming moth. No, baked apples and sulfur. Oh, okay. Keep up. My god, I'm not hiring you for my marketing team. I hear some choir going on. This is how we summon Mothra. <laughs> The sealed door! Throw the apple into the fire! No. <laughs> there you go. Hmm. It's propelling itself through the air somehow! Ooh, pretty! Where's the other one? Not that. Maybe it's not that different from the Safari Zone core. Throw things at things? Yep. Throw this at that! Oh, it's terrible, right? You can't even roll dodge from it. How's that for a Dark Souls boss? It is the bonfire! Praise the sun. Oh, hey, there's rocks. I think it only takes one to charge them up because it's such a... Yeah, but some of them get extra effects. That's true. And they get prettier. that one. And the trick to this is that, you know, sure, you could take a picture of it while it's on fire, but it doesn't count. You could have it perfectly well, framed. You could have all the stats. You know, cameras can't take pictures of fire. You have to do the gimmick to get them all glowy glowy. Oh yeah, that's the thing. On this island, all the Pokemon are essentially radioactive. For some reason. That's not even a joke, really. <laughs> uh, nothing immediately springs to mind, Joe. 
course, get I, back here, you. Ugh. I honestly wonder how this is programmed. I mean, probably a degree of hit scan, but the degree of um, variables. Whoa, hey. It's kind of nuts. Like, it'll tell if something is in front of another thing, if it's in a particular pose. At the same time, I feel like there should be more. Yeah, I, I just wonder how it all reads, you know? Maybe I'm overthinking it. I don't know. I'm not a game designer. Yes, Pidgeot Tamer. They well, do have the Poke Flute. It's, it's not just. A flute is basically an app on your uh, yeah. phone camera, but. And it only plays one tune. But the effect is still there. You could argue Dead Rising is kind of a photography game. Ish. Yeah. With clowns and chainsaws and a lot of vehicular homicide, of which I partook. I feel that's more of a survival game with a heavy camera element rather than a photography game, but... <laughs> Is there any in the Cabela series? Oh, I got some four-star shots. What the? What is... Alright, so does that count? Yeah, they're both glowing. Hmm. Do you think this is a better... I think it's because they're looking at the flower. Yeah, I just see my concern is that is, does it read it as an absolute crosshair of center mass or does it care? Because it used to do something like that, didn't it? Oh, whatever. And let me not forget this for the 15th time. Let's do this. I mean, this is kind of fun because I haven't actually been able to do photography. Ooh, okay. Sure. A new discovery. I was gonna say I haven't been able to really do photography in like two years, I guess. Yeah. I think the last time was when I made you cart me out to go see the uh, golden chain trees. Mm-hmm. And the magnolias and stuff like that. Banquet of fire. I, for one, would be interested in other safari-type games, like, uh... Oh, wait, 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 wait! Endless Ocean! You didn't really take pictures in that, though. Didn't you? I don't think so. Did you? Because you swam around and you cataloged fish and stuff. I... Didn't you do that with a camera? Uh... <laughs> Could have sworn that, or was it just you kind of, like, arbitrarily scanned it? Given how much work they put into the imaginary ecosystem, I'm kind of surprised Avatar, the James Cameron Cat People franchise of one movie, awesome. doesn't have a safari type game. Ready. Because we're going outside the travel lock. Yeah, Monster Hunter Safari could work. Territory. Just straight up dinosaurs or ancient megafauna. I need to go to the ocean. Ooh, snowfield. But I still need to go to the ocean. Huh? Yep. Wow. Anyway. Well, speaking of. And what? Are, what? Hello. Oh my god, stop talking. Wait, no, what are you doing? 
Okay, yes, yeah, so you can keep talking. <laughs> yep. Anyway. Yep. I'll tell you. By the way. <laughs> All right. I can maybe see that. Someone says Professor Mural looks like a young phoenix, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like he and Todd look like they're related. Mm. There's some secret there they don't want us to know. Time clones. Thanks. Well, anyway, I'm sick of the cold. Time to go deep underwater where it's cold. Oh, the little kid. Oh. Um, Phil. Oh, 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 really? Well, look at the way his hair grows. He's a hedgehog. Yeah, but... Phoenix Wright's got more of a swoopy swallowtail thing, doesn't it? He, he, okay, you know what? If anything, I'm thinking more like Godot. <sighs> God, I hate this thing. Oh, I'm yeah, just, the water physics. Yeah. I'm just mad the thing is not an evolution of love disc. I mean, look. That, at too. This is... Come check out my only fins. No. 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 <laughs> Why? <laughs> it winked at me. Ugh. And here we go into the section that I don't particularly like. Yeah, but the other one's really boring. I know. And this has got way more going on, and it's longer and has better content, and yada, yada, yada. Hey, where's the. Um, what are those? Those little jerks. They're not here. Hmm. Well, they're not harassing the things. Oh, here they come. Get here too fast, maybe? Really? There's also there's like a little cave or something I constantly miss. Yeah. There. Yeah, I think you have to uh, rescue Do that? a lantern earlier. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I have no idea. Because I constantly maybe light up the chin chow next time. Oh, bye, thingy. Uh, not so much claustrophobic ink as just the oppressive darkness of the unfeeling ocean. A perpetual oh! Oh! <laughs> that is full of things that hate you. Oh, you never looked up ph uh, Philosophobia after, huh? Yeah. You didn't want to see that fun quiz I sent you? Uh, it's okay. power of Finian compels you. I feel like this thing looks like this design is a little imbalanced. It is, but that's the best it's looked to me. Not a lot of stuff. Woo! Oh, I think you were supposed to like that one up. Oh. I don't care. Isn't there... Yeah. Jaws. I didn't see... the frillish being monsters. Hmm. Is that not in this area? I thought it was. Maybe you did something that changed the cue? I changed their fate. Come here, you little jerk. Oh, wow. Is there... There we go. I'm gonna miss it. What's that? 
Uh, star me? Star you? Oh! It's kind of random whether or not the shell. Come on, you jerk! <sighs> you know what? Ah, fine. What do I care? I think it's smug fish. Does this thing eat? I don't know. Its mouth is its face, so. It doesn't stop a lot of other creatures. Okay, it's just gonna. I seriously miss that. Oh my god. You know what? <laughs> you know what? Well, good for you. What is making that noise? Do you eat? No, you're just gonna be terrifying over there. The mighty samurai does not need to eat. That's a stereotype. Reinforced by the Dutch. <laughs> the Dutch, you say? All right. In the 1600s, they were the only ones who were allowed in Japan. So your entire argument is taking this Dutch angle, eh? Good to see you. Oh, okay. I was supposed to be nice to Lantern or something. Yeah. Well, I don't care. I can be nice another time. What am I... This, isn't it? No. Ha, ah, this is totally... Oh my god. Ian? Mm -hmm. I'm... What does this think it's a picture of? The Luminian, clearly. Uh-huh. Look at how centered it is in the frame. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> it's kind of a Jaws cover going. Uh, yuck. Oh well. What a doofus. What a double doofus. Well, clearly, of course, someone had one and then released it into the wild. For fossil Pokemon, I'll make any excuse I need to to justify their existence. Nice work. Nice work. Well, clearly there was a clone of some child running around, and he was like, "They're alive, like me," and just opened the floodgates. Nice work. 
and that's why I was nice work. We're in the Olympic region. Nice work. That child was Professor Mirror who looks a lot <laughs> like Phil. He's a clone! <laughs> I told you! Is my microphone okay? Yep. Well, well just in just a second. We're gonna take a quick break, and when we come back, there will be more Pokemon snapping. Yeah. All right. Give us just a second, folks, and we'll see you in a few. This one's a bit. This one's a 